Rightio, in this next video I'm going to focus on the design of the table drains. Uh, as I mentioned in the first video, I want to take two different approaches um, on either side. On the left we'll take a, um, a string based approach and, and use a, uh, a string to control the offset and levels. And on the right hand side I'm going to create a conditional tab table drain. Uh, if I wanted to open up a cross-section window, if I'd close one down, uh, I can select the bottom part of Open Vertical Grading and there's the option here to open up a cross-section window. Uh, just to point out, if you've got multiple windows open, there's an option here to tile them and if you've got a whole bunch of them open, you can use this command to close them all down. So by running Open Cross-Section Window, I pick on the road and the change I want to open up and then you can see um, the cross-section window has appeared. So I have an alignment uh, that I'm going to use on the left hand side to control uh, the offset of the table drain. I can turn that alignment on by sorry, selecting select other objects to show in cross-section view and I'm going to say on all roads I want to show an alignment which uh, is called uh, Princess Highway Left 6.5. It was named this way because it was an, uh, created as an offset alignment. And I'm going to uh, specify a change range for its display. So if I select, select OK, you can see the blue line appearing in cross section. Um, I'm going to firstly um, create a string uh, out of that alignment. Now I'm not going to design the table drain so that it sits on the alignment. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do a little bit later on. Uh, but first thing I need to do is turn it into a string. Now when I create the string I want the sections of the of the string to align with sections of my road. Um, if I open up toggle display and go to the section sample lines tab you can see I can turn on the the sections created for the main road when I create the the table drain string I want the sections to align with those and I, I'll show you how we can do that so first step uh, create string and pick on the table drain alignment so no template will be applied because the string will control the codes already on my main template but I don't want the sections to be created using the, the standard 10 meter I want to use add other strings and say that I want my sections to align with Princess Highway and only use these changes so as I said the string sections will align with the um, main road so if I select OK to that, Vertical Grading Editor has opened up uh, with a design of best fit. What I'm going to, going to do is just lower my design maybe um, half a metre, just so I know that everything's pretty well in cut. Um, I won't have time to sort of design the table draining detail on the left hand side, but um, at least I know that um, it will be in cut here. Now going back to my cross section, if I go back to that select other objects command, what I can do now is tell the software by using the road option to report the levels on that string. So if I click OK, you can now see a pink dot appearing in section and that uh, uh, dot represents the level on the string. So <clears throat> if I go and start changing the levels, you can see that red dot uh, appearing. Now I'm changing an IP. It's a little bit off from that section. That yellow vertical line represents the section you, uh, that I have open there. But you can see the pink dot moving. But what I haven't done yet is tell the software that that point is going to reference the string. Um, by using this display form um, I can change what information is shown on the cross-section view so at the moment I'm showing the levels but I'm going to tick off to show uh, codes for a sec um, this form you can also turn on to show the offsets and I find uh, show depth useful as well if you want to see uh, cut and fill depths across the section 
So if I click OK, I can see that the code I want to work with is LTD1, uh, but I want to set that code to reference the string. Now I'm not actually going to tell LTD1 to adopt the offset of the string. Uh, what I'm going to do is tell the software to extend out that 1 in 4 slope until we reach the level on the string. So in this cross section what will happen is we'll extend out at 1 in 4 and the offset might end up being out here uh, in order to match the level on the string. So I'm going to open up the design data form for the road and I'm going to add a variation called set code offsets and or levels to string and I'm going to say grab LTD1 for the entire length. Now normally or uh, well, commonly you would use change offset and level and that would grab the code, position it on the alignment and adopt the level on the string. But for this table drain I'm going to use hold slope change offset and as I said, it will project the 1 in 4 slope out until we get to the level on the string. So by clicking Add Update, you can see there now um, that the slope is maintained, but um, I can uh, control the levels on the drain by using a string. And if I uh, move the levels up and down, you can see the table drain extending out as we, uh, as we change the levels there. So that's one way uh, to go about a table drain design. We have full control over the uh, the levels, but um, we know that we're getting suitable crossfall off the shoulder. We're not designing the road too steep to the table drain. So the next method I'm going to show you <coughs> is a conditional drain. Uh, so based on whether our road is in cut or fill, uh, we will uh, add a drain in. So in a cut situation we'll put the drain in, when we're in fill we'll just batter back down. To do this we open up the design data form for the road and you'll see that there is an entry in here called table drains. I'm going to hit the green plus to add a new one. So I set the chainage range that the table drain will be added to. I'm only focused on the right hand side so the first few uh, entries here I don't uh, need to worry about. I then set the shape of the table drain so for the first section I'm going to come out two meters and down half a meter. Uh, you're probably thinking shouldn't that be a negative value but in fact you put a positive in in this case for, for it to go down and I want to come across half a meter and keep that flat. So then what I do is I set the condition at which this table drain gets added. Uh, always means it always goes in. Start a table drain is the shoulder, so if the shoulder's in cut it goes in. Section 1 is that uh, first section I added, uh, and then section 2 is that last section I added. So if that's in cut, then the table drain gets added in. In this case, I'm just going to say, look, if the shoulder's in cut, then <clears throat> put the drain in. Uh, but I don't necessarily want the software to put the drain in if I'm one mil millimetre in cut. So I'm going to put a 50 mil tolerance, uh, depth tolerance in. So if we're more than 50 mil in cut, then the drain will go in. <clears throat> the shape of my table drain will be the same from the start to the end. So I'm going to tick on constant width, and that means I don't have to fill out um, any of that information. Uh, if I want the codes to show in cross-section, uh, in the preview and on the plots, then I tick on yes for um, plot flags. So by clicking add update, the drain hasn't been added to that section because we're in fill, but if I go to a section where I'm in cut, you can see that the table drain has been added. So uh, depending on certain conditions, that table drain has been added. There's another, an, a couple of ways I could do this. There is a, a variation that I can use called conditional delete that would uh, do the same thing. Um, just looking at this section, uh, you can see the drain has been added even though it probably shouldn't. And I suppose in order to fix that one up, I would just change the condition at which it gets added. So if I go back to say section one is in cut, so that point is in cut, 
then the table drain gets added. You can see that the, the drain hasn't been added in that case. So um, maybe using section one as in cut is probably a good option. Um, so you don't get that table drain forming in, in, a, in a fill situation. But yeah, just going back to that uh, variation you could use, which I know a few users use in, for table drain design. It's called delete, all, oh sorry, not that one. Uh, conditional delete section. So uh, depending on whether a certain code is in cut by a certain amount, um, you can uh, uh, remove codes out, table drain codes. So I could I could apply that to the left hand side over certain regions if I wanted to. So I'm still um, using the string to manage the the levels on the table drain, but I can conditionally delete out uh, the table drain based on cut and fill. So um, there's just a couple of approaches for uh, table drain design.